Hello there. Very excited to get this opened and reviewed. This is the, uh, what's it say? Boba, Boba Fett. Ah, wow. So it's not Jabba's, it's Boba Fett's throne room playset. But obviously they can be transferable to the Return of the Jedi. Can't wait to open this. I've been tracking it all day. Let's do it. There you go. And it just occurred to me as well. I don't think anybody has seen the art for this box yet, you know? I think we've only just seen the previews of the product, but still, let's see what it's like now. Let's do it. Oh, it's double boxed, I think, is it, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah, it might be. Bear with me. Yeah, look at that. So it's double boxed. So they've learned their lessons from the Razor Crest by double boxing this like they did the barge, although this isn't a Haslab product. It's good that they've done it, though. They should do it all the time for products where people might complain about the outside packaging. Nearly there. Oh, wow. Look at that. And the first thing I'm seeing Maybe that's why they've not shown you the packaging until now, because maybe in people's heads, people want it to be Return of the Jedi, but actually it's got the Book of Boba Fett branding on it. I don't know. I don't know, but still, I like that. It looks good to me. But look at that. Great. Fantastic. Oh, yeah, man. Boba Fett's throne room. There you go. See? Bit Fortuna Tatooine included. Great. Um, wow. Let's have a look. There was all the accessories. That we're going to get again in the TVC. Um, see, it's got all the hides on it. I forgot about that. I thought with this set, we'd only get that. And that might have been missing. So you had to buy the Jabba set to go with it. I'd forgotten that that also came with this. There you are. There's the spit there or whatever. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, the back and front are usually always the same, more or less, on these TVC things. It's great, isn't it, man? Look at that packaging. Brilliant. Bit of shoddy sellotape there, but that's always sometimes the case. Can you see that? Ah. And then there's uh, Bib again there. There we go. There's Bib. I just want to get it open, ladies and gentlemen. And then there is that. Wow, it's awesome, isn't it, man? Can't wait to see all these accessories and everything. Oh, and there's a monkey lizard on the spit there. Love it. <laughs> Brilliant. Um... Looking forward to getting this open, ladies and gentlemen. So without any further ado, let's do it. And the first thing we are met with is this. I opened the right side then, there's your leaflet there. Boba Fett's throne room. There's a little bit of that there. That's always unimportant. Let's have a look and see. Wow, look at this, more inside packaging, look at that. Look at this, you've got that there, this, and there's like two more, multiple boxes inside the box. Fascinating. So, let's have a look. There you go. I see it's telling you what to do. Verifying what I just thought that you've got inside packaging. Wow. Look at all of that, all those accessories come in those trays. That's well set out for you, isn't it? Um, and that's how you construct that. That's usually very straightforward. What's that telling me? Taken across there for whatever I see. Well, that's usually logical to get these things together. It's just sort of showing you how to display those things in the back. Wow. And you got there, a fire. Wow, that'd be awesome. If you get a piece that's like fire, they're quite good at doing flame plastic molds now, aren't they? I used to hate that kind of thing, but don't mind it as much now. All that there, right, let's just get this stuff open, man. That's so you can grab it out. Wow, and that's the first tray, tray A. And you've got, look at that, great artwork. Brilliant. I like that a lot. On the back of that, nothing, pretty, pretty plain. Next one. Grab that, pull that out like this. Look at that, classic vintage collection. Same artwork, I believe. Disney and TVC. And then there's that one there as well. Right, where to begin? Right, let's see what's in this first one here. There's no more sellotape on these boxes, which is quite nice, they just open. And then in here, right, so we've got A all the way through to G there. Yeah, so it does correspond with this. So this is what you see here. Yeah, this smaller, shallower, thinner box is what you see on page one there. These two boxes, hang on and must be the, yeah, the main frame of the thing. So I'll tell you what I'll do. Well, I wouldn't mind having a look at the card back. Let's get him out first, Fat Bib. 
And it is in, what kind of condition is that? Oh, it's good. There's no blemishes or anything on that car. Maybe a bit of scuff in there, but it's fine. You know what I mean? No warps, no dings or anything like that. So that's great. That's not going to get open today, sadly, ladies and gentlemen. I did have two of these ordered, but I cancelled one about 12 months ago because of the fact that everybody was watching their pennies and stuff and I needed to save for a holiday I'm about to embark on. So that's what happened. I'm going to put that out the way safely. I'm going to put that by my barge. You may see that again later the barge and the bib. Right, let's just get this out of the way for now and uh, we'll come back to that. But already, can you see all that stuff there? Look at that, look at the, oh yeah man, look at that spit thing there, look at the detail. I'm getting barge flashbacks here. Ladies and gentlemen, that was a treat to open back in 2019. Loved it, it was just a lovely, detailed feast of Return of the Jedi, nostalgic greatness. So this is the next one I'm gonna open. I believe this was second down look at that wow so we've got the frame there look at that wow it's awesome and there's aha look at that something that has been uh 3d printed to death but this is the official hasbro interpretation of the the bib not bib well yeah bib slash boba fett's uh, throne this is just excess packaging there and this stuff there should we get that open what do we get what you got yeah, that's nicely, uh, nicely formed and weathered, painted. Wow, that slab looks bigger than the, uh, yeah, it's bigger and it's thinner than the other release spin. Over there is my other one. If you want to see my previous upload, it was about comparing two jabbers. So the one from the Shadows of the Dark Side line is uh, thicker. They're the same length, are they? Yeah, this one's slightly thinner though, and it's got maybe better, yeah, superior weathering that drips there, for example. Love it, love it. I'm loving this. I'm not quite sure where I'm going to be displaying this yet. I'm going to have to do some changes in here, but I will figure it out, <laughs> you know, in the, in the course of. So this is, just comes off like that. And now we have an archway, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, yeah, it's a little lighter than I expected it to be. I thought it was going to be a darker tone, like maybe in my head I had the yellow of that. Well, it's not yellow, but you know what I mean, the beige brown colour of that, but slightly lighter. Doesn't matter, it still looks impressive. Oh, yeah. How about that? Nice. Now let's find out what's in here. Obviously, the remaining items and it is yeah the back piece there so obviously that looks a bit plain for now but when you populate that with items it look good no weathering or anything on the back side which is probably what you'd expect really because it's just a set piece isn't it you know like in the movies and this here again it doesn't look as dirty I mean it's fine but it doesn't look as dirty or weathered and washed as I would have expected it's quite a light color but again I'm making a judgment before I put everything together and put figures on it and stuff but you know what I think they could have maybe made that a little dirtier given how they have weathered things like that Falcon there beautifully and lots of pr plenty of other vehicles including X-Wings of, of uh, recent times but um well you know it is what it is all right let's get this final thing up and running now exciting obviously a satisfying click wasn't it look at that there it is even like that I haven't even finished it looks awesome it's just awesome should we cheat and get a jabber in there Let's see what jabber looks like dark side jabbers going in will he fit in here oh no he's, he won't the other one will though not funny it's made so that this one doesn't fit in maybe that's to encourage people to to not put this in there <laughs> yeah it's out of date that now Let's get a gamo guard in there, man. Look at that. Wow. A marine guard, welcome home. Okay, that obviously does fit in there nicely. Perfect, look at that. It's a Jedi. It's a Jedi. Oh no, the rancor. That goes on there. One of my favourite figures is the Boba Fett from Book of Boba Fett, actually, even though that's not my favourite series. 
few issues with it, but still. I love that figure, and I was just going to solely pose him in this set, but it, now I've got it, I'm thinking I should, it'd be rude not to put some Return of the Jedi characters in there. Anyway, let's carry on. So I've got my tray, now I'm just going to get to work. See, things like that just fit in there. Can you see that there? There's a special compartment that allows that to slot in. And then use other items, things like that. Look at them. Awesome. Great detail. Attention to detail. I believe we've got Emily to thank for this. Did she help with the design of it or concept or whatever? I don't know the ins and outs, I'm sorry, of Hasbro folk and what they do specifically, but I know she had a hand in this. Oh, I've got to go handheld for that. Look at all these small things. Very small shot glasses in there. See that there? And then you've got that, all these kind of tower things and candlesticky whatevers. That's reminiscent of what we've seen in the uh, Navarro Cantina. Right, I'm going to get that into position. Wow, let's get on to C. This is the flame pit barbecue, whatever you want to call it. Here it is, right there. It's in its own compartment, not in a bag. Do you want to have another look at it first? There you go. Let's get it all out then, see what we do with it. Wow. <laughs> look at the monkey lizard. Firstly, look at the detail. The lovely finish of the metal there, very nice. And then, oh, look at that, man. <laughs> That's awesome. That's this lovely. And that's the story of Salacious Crumb, you know, he saved him, he was going to eat him, wasn't he? But he made him laugh and he kept him as a jester. Court jester. That's amazing, look at that as well. Get some LEDs in that maybe, look at that, you see? Your diorama, your photos. This just came out. Wow, that looks like meat of some sort. There's the flame, that goes on here, I guess. Does it? Yeah. Right, nearly there, what, are we, what else have we got? Oh, I see. That must go. Ah, so that's an option. You can put that on the spit as well. Right on the spit. Same as the monkey. Wow. And inside there's some goblets as well. Look at that. Great. I think they're supposed to. Ah, they're supposed to go on here. Look at that. This is. I'm just been swearing my head off. This is really annoying to get these to stick in here. Really annoying. They pop out, man. God. They've got like little sockets they're supposed to go in that are like octagonal shape and then these are circular and it ain't helping they seem to fit in and then they pop out watch this it's not having it right that is c right, d is more stuff let's have a look at it that's what you get for d you can see it there in the picture as well so it's more uh, bottles of stuff like you get in the navarro cantina that thing and just, just lovely ornaments and stuff like that. Right, let's find out where they want them. There's small E and there's capital E. See, there's small E, capital E are these. So let's get them out. That's a bit of a preview for the Jabba's, Jabba's throne we're getting. Or the Jabba VC individual Jabba. Look at that, that's interesting. That's nice, isn't it? Look at that. Wow. Underside, obviously, has got nothing to it, but a bit of a felty feel. Let's get them on here, man. Wow, that gives it feature, doesn't it? Look at that. Oh, and they drape nicely as well. Boom, like that. However you want it, have it like that if you want. The way they've done it on the picture is like that. But whatever. They're on there. Very good. And uh, yeah, this can come out a bit more like that and then this can go, oh, I've just lost. Oh, I knew that would happen. See at the back, the shot glass is there. One of them has just come off. So be, be prepared for tiny little items there. I knew that would be the first thing to go if I knocked it, but it doesn't matter. Sort it later. Wow, what else have we got, man? There's loads of stuff here. Then we've got F, G. So there's F there, all that stuff. Can you see it? Wow. Hard goods, soft goods items, if that makes sense. A bit like what you got in the shadows of the 
the shadows of the dark side Jabba, if you remember, you got that that draped over the edge of his dais, whatever you call it, this is slab throne thing. Um, that looks very similar to it. And then G is more pots and pans and stuff like that, man. Great. So let's do F first, obviously. Oh, you it's lost some stuff. Oh, it's Spotchka. Fantastic. So if you haven't got Fennec Shand, who has Spotchka, you've got some more Spotchka here. That just goes on the top. That will drape, I think, like that, is it? So where will that go here? Oh, sorry, you can't see what I'm doing. That is, I'm just there like that. Can you just see? I've got a tripod here, so it's very difficult for me to go handheld. Pushed up against that, that looks nice, doesn't it? And then these things, I'm just gonna scatter them about, man. Just why not? Just, just, just go, go, go crazy. It's it's the foody sort of item inside that, nice. Brilliant, living like kings they are. And what is that? Oh, look at that. Love that. What an accessory that is. Gonna lie that flat for now. I'm gonna go handheld right at the very end. And the last thing I'm gonna do. More, more stuff, man. You got like a little fruit thing there. I remember that from the pictures. Wow. And again, just dot it around as you please. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. You got another one of these, and the last time I... Uh, those goblets that went by the spit were, were horrendous, but let's see if this is any better. Let's have a go. That's slightly better. Oh yeah, that, that's a lot better. <laughs> that's great, and look at that lovely medieval vibe to this, man. What happens to this? Oh, look, it's a droid head. I just realized what it is. It's a droid head and it goes on there like that. It just sits on there. Look at that. Serve his head on a plate, man. <laughs> look at that. I just was just saying about medieval kings. Amazing. I love it. Absolutely love this. That's going to go there. Can you see? Whoa, hang on. See what I did? That piece there. Can you see the way it rocks up to there like that? You see? So it's got to be pressed up against it. So it goes up against the throne. Book of Boba Fett throne. Thing of fruit there, so it's pickable for our man. And what about that? I don't think that just goes here. Just get it on a nice flat surface. And then this. Wow. We are done. That's everything. How cool is this? I haven't even put any characters in it yet. I'm thoroughly entertained putting that together. Feast your eyes, ladies and gentlemen. I am going to put Jabba in there at some point. Not, not yet. If you want to see Jabba, stay tuned. I'll be doing a further video. I'm going to just put Boba Fett in there and Fennec, Fennec Shan for now. Jabba, I think I'm going to do that as a separate video because I'm just reviewing what we're given, what we're presented in this release here. It's Book of Boba Fett specific. My previous video, go check that out where I compared the two best three and three quarter inch Jabba the Hutts. Um, that's quite an interesting video if you haven't seen that. I'll be putting one of those two in here, but I'm thinking maybe the Shadows of the Dark Side one will go in here until they release the new TVC one, which is a carbon copy, pretty much a repaint of the one that came in the barge there. And as for Fat Bib, I'm sorry, you're going to have to go to someone else's channel to see him loose. But I don't want him loose anyway, just in, in, in that one scene. Boba! It's Boba! Boba! You know, it was just pointless, really. I prefer to think of Bip Fortuna as this guy, you know what I mean? <laughs> it was funny, but I'm not opening him just for that, to have him sat on the throne. No, 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 no. Book of Boba Fett only. So let's have a quick look over here now. Look at all that detail, man. Amazing. Incredible. An Instagrammer's dream. As I say, that shot glass fell off at the back there. Can't wait to do some more videos featuring this with characters in it and with some different lighting and stuff, you know, but that is what we're getting straight away. It's awesome. Look at that. Even now you can see the shadows coming in off the top there. That's brilliant. I like it a lot. The top there. I think the only thing I'm going to do is get Boba Fett, Book of Boba Fett, Boba Fett in there, and Fennec Shand, and then we're done here. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this.
How did she sit on there? Did she sort of sit on there like that? Did she? Oh, look at that. A bit of beatbox there for you. That was a great moment. The one at the end of Mando season two was just like the pinnacle of all they've made, really. Andor was pretty good. Oh, I loved Andor, but still, that was pretty cool. Um, that's all I'm going to do, ladies and gentlemen. I did put Jabba in the middle of it before, but as you knew, as you saw Jabba's previous slab thing, whatever you want to call it, that didn't fit inside here. But I know for a fact they will design it so that they will be giving this one out in the TVC later, so that one will fit in. Just imagine it didn't. That would be a desperate error <laughs> from Hasbro. But uh, that's all I'm going to show you. What a great set this is. Unbelievable. Really like that. Wow. That's so cool, man. I mean, I love the Return of the Jedi and I love Jabba and everything. But that's pretty cool just for what it is. I will just put a few people in here just for fun. Why not? Let's just get a bit Fortuna in there. And let's get Yak Face in here. Who else? gentleman here would be pretty appropriate to get people like that in you know just a few of the, the former denizens would be a bit rude not to get reyes in there ladies and gentlemen you got a jower in the back as well if you were going to go for it welcome home size noodles i'm just pretty much just grabbing characters left right and center from here but i can't wait i'm going to leave it there i'm going to start experimenting with what i can do with this and then i'll be Bringing you, bringing you plenty more of the videos. At the minute, we're breaking chronology massively by having all this gang next to him. But uh, anyway, whatever. Do what you want. Do as you please. Do as you must. Anyway, thank you for watching this review and opening of the Boba Fett's throne room, as it's called, or Jabba's throne room, for the vintage collection. What an amazing piece that is. Leave your thoughts and comments below. I have been only one Kenobi. Only one. Out.